So do you want to have dolphin shortcuts just like these with good icons? Well, make sure to watch through the whole video because I will show you how to make icons just like this. Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to create desktop shortcuts and adding good icons for them in dolphin. So you want to just open dolphin, I already have it open, and you want to right click on the game you want to do, click add shortcut to desktop. And as you can see it popped up here and it's just the basic dolphin logo and you have a bunch of them it's going to get confusing you're probably going to misclick them and i'm going to show you how to get good icons for them so you want and you will need the gamecube ipl menu and for the wii games you can just do go to tools and you should see a perform online system update and that and that's really easy to do but for the GameCube, you will need to Google the GameCube IPL stuff, and I can't show you how to do that because that's against YouTube rules. So once you have all that set up, you want to go to Graphics, Advanced, go to Texture Dumping, you want to enable that. You want to make sure these two are also enabled. And you want to close that. You want to go to Config, IPL Settings, and you'll see Skip Main Menu. You want to make sure that is unchecked, press Closed. Um, go to the game you want to do. I'm doing GameCube games. So for GameCube, just hold the A button so you can go to the menu. Go to memory card, press A, and just literally, literally that's all we need to do for the GameCube. Just stop the emulation, go to file, open user folder, go to dump, textures, and then your ID will be different because that this is the ID for the game. So if you did double dash, it's going to be different. So just click on the game that you did. And as you can see, we have the Sunshine icon, Warrior World, Double Dash, TV Robo. And if you have other games, you'll see more. So what you want to do is go to your web browser and search up PNG to ICO Converter. And once you find your, your own one, I can't link one because that's also against YouTube rules. I don't know why. So you just want to go to your folder, just drag and drop, convert, download, I'm just going to go to here, new folder, uh, you can call it whatever you want or you can just save it keep in the downloads folder. You want to right click on the shortcut that we made earlier, click properties, change icon right here, you want to click browse here, and you want to go to that place where you saved your icon, see, right there, click on that, open, press ok here, press apply, press ok, and there we go. We have created a custom icon for a game, now we're going to do a Wii games. Now, make sure the texture dumping is enabled and you don't need that GameCube whatever but you will need the Wii menu and if you don't have that I told you just go to tools and you should see a perform online system update or something like that you want to go to your game actually no 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 you don't want to do that you want to go to tools and you want to load the Wii menu Press A or click whatever. Go to Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, Wii. Here are my games. Just click here or whatever. So you already need to do. Stop the emulation. File. Use a folder. I think I already have one. Yeah, right here. Just go to. Just go to dump textures and as you can see that's actually um the Mario Kart Wii that I did earlier and then you qu quickly um went back and you should see a bunch of zeros one and two. So then as you can see we have a bunch of icons. Here's the Mario Kart Wii, Sevilla, the Chibi Robo, and as you can see the Chibi Robo one was actually animated, so we have the each frame. You can pick one which one you want. We have the new Super Mario Bros. Wii. So you want to click on the Wii game and you want to create a shortcut, right click, add shortcut to desktop, there we go, we'll mark our Wii, we'll go to that, you want to go to this folder, go to your um, 
converter. Here's my cart Wii. Click download or whatever your converter says. Downloads. There we go. Right click on the shortcut, click properties, change icon, click browse, go to where you saved it, open, press OK, press apply, and OK, there we go. We have shortcuts with good icons so that you don't get confused and you can differentiate them. And there we go, you can just move them to your games or whatever you want to put them. For large icons, you'll see it'll be a little small. Go to medium icons, it looks really good. Chibi Robo and Mark Car Wii. And there we go, that's how you do GameCube games and Wii games. And I really hope you find this really easy and simple. And yeah, hope you had a good day.